Okay kids, it's time to grow up. You're on your way to high school, where you really have to explain yourself when you write a science conclusion. This is you in elementary school. One hundred! We got a hundred drops! You've just done a lab on how many drops you can add to the top of a penny. Your team awesomely gets 100 drops. So for your conclusion, you write, yay, we got 100 drops. Five words. No explanation of why it happened or what this means. But how can I sound sciencey if I'm not a science person, you ask? Never fear, we have the magic solution here at LMS, the four-part conclusion. First, the purpose and the hypothesis. Like, the purpose of this lab is to understand how water's surface tension can overcome the force of gravity. And since a penny has a fairly high rim, the water will most likely beat up really high. So 50 drops is predicted. See what I did there? The hypothesis is an if-then statement. And I said since. That's like saying if. And instead of saying then, I said will most likely. It's a prediction that you make. Also notice that I never used ownership with words like I, we, our, your, their. That's called passive voice. We do this in science because science is impersonal. It makes you sound more sciencey. Second is the background. This would be where you do some research about the subject. This is really big when you do a science project. But in a conclusion report, it isn't necessary to do two weeks worth of research. So just a little bit about the topic, the materials used or what's been done on this work before, like water is made of one part oxygen and two parts hydrogen. The slightly imbalanced electrical pull between the hydrogen and the oxygen atoms creates a pull between the molecules called a hydrogen bond. This is the reason that water molecules have surface tension. See what I did there? I did some research on why water molecules come together and condensed it into the reason why a bubble forms on a penny. Third, important observations. This should always be your biggest part. It's where you state whether the hypothesis was correct or not, why the lab came out the way it did, and you list at least three different things to support your explanation. We call these things data. For example, the result of 100 drops is a large number, so the hypothesis was proven partially correct because the prediction of 50 drops was meant to be a very large number. Since the molecules of water pull together like magnets, surface tension of water holds enough around the edge of the penny to cause a large bubble to form above the top of the penny. Fourth, errors in similar labs. In lab situations, conditions are never perfect, so there's always measurement problems. You need to understand that errors don't mean mistakes. So don't say, there were no errors in this lab. You can easily do this example lab without mistakes. Maybe you didn't spill any water. You didn't break the beaker or miss the penny when you squeezed out the drops. But what if one dropper has some clay in it and another is a brand new one? Will they both make the same size drops? If a beaker has been washed and some soap is still on the inside and others don't have that soap, don't you think that would make a difference in different teams' measurements? Yeah, that's an error. So what are similar labs? A similar lab is a nice way to make an ending. You know how an elementary student will write, this lab was fun, or the end? Remember, we don't use emotion or possession in science because science is impersonal. So we need something with pizzazz, a zinger, to leave you with that, that was really cool feeling. So you might say how the lab could be done better or what this lab means for making the world a better place. Or maybe a way to step it up to a better proof. For example, another interesting question to answer with this lab is, what would happen if a drop of oil is added to the water bubble on the penny head? Or what if some liquid soap is added to the water? You might even make a prediction here, like, since soap helps to clean off the surfaces, this will probably make the water run off of the surface of the penny as it cleans the dirt off. 
and since oil makes layers on top of water, the bubble might be better reinforced and hold longer. We will drill this into you so much over the three years that you're at LMS that this way of making conclusions will be permanently stamped into your brains. <laughs>